Talk guys, beauty. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to install and configure your TV box, right? You just received your TV box. You are lost there. How to configure and install it. I will show you there. Oh, how are you doing the installation, right? Configuration or connecting to the internet. Then step by step. Then from scratch, guys, you will be able to consider your TV box normally. Then OTV box, he comes the box, right? Which is the proper OTV box. And it comes with some inputs here, right? HDMI internet input, AV input, several USB inputs too. Here, it has five USB inputs. It also has input for memory card. So for you are transferring a file first. What are you going to do here, guys? Here he will come with this source, right? It's a five volt source that he's been tracking, right? And also, often it also comes with the HDMI cable for you to be using first. Then you will get your source. You will be connecting back here, right? You're going to get the source and you're going to be calling back here on your TV box. Here it has input. You plug in your source and plug it into the outlet there. And also, if yours accompanies HDMI, you will be using their people. There are many people who use AV, right? That ATV is older, but it also works more AV to have more quality. Then you have to use the HDMI input. I will connect here. <laughs> It's the end goes to the TV box and the other end, you turn on the TV, someone makes sure it's well fitted and here on your TV box, it will automatically light up. It's a red light that means it's on your TV. Then you will select the HDMI input. It will start your TV box here. Mine it is for the system there, the box, right? It can have several systems there. It is often updated for optimization to be faster and end up helping the performance of lighter systems as well. I'll wait for it to restart here and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, now with the control in hand, I'm going to configure the internet of the TV box, right? After you have connected the HDMI or AV cable, if your TV is older, right? It sometimes comes with the AV cable for you to make that connection. And I will be setting up the internet there to access the application, watch, watch movies, use streaming platforms too. Here you will enter settings. And within settings, it will have a Wi-Fi option. You will activate this option here, Wi-Fi, and you will be setting up your internet. Okay? Did you locate my network? I will select the network and in the next step, it will ask you to be entering your password. Are you going to put your password on your internet there? After entering the password, it will connect to your internet. You guys are waiting to make that connection, right? Here he is making the connection to the internet, internet connected. And now the next step I'm going to do is connect my Google account, right? You need a Google account there to be using the Play Store and are downloading apps there inside your TV box. It's pretty simple there too. To configure Google name, you will need to enter here, right under accounts and you will be clicking here. Oh, add an account. As you can see, oh accounts, add account, you give. Okay, it will ask for your email, right? And the password for this account that you want to configure in my case, he already has an account set up, right? I won't be setting up another one that it's already okay here for me. And I'm not going to be adding another one there, but it's very simple. You click on this one and explain it in the plus sign, then add account. It will ask for the account's email and it will also ask for your password on Google so you can access the Play Store, right? And you're downloading the apps too. If you have a network cable, you might be connecting the network cable there, right? For him to have a faster internet transmission here on the TV box, he has an entrance there. A network cable input where you connect 
and you can be using faster there and enjoying the best there from your TV box. Here it is already configured, right? As you can see, the Wi-Fi signal there is set up, it's working. And to validate if everything is working there, your internet, I recommend you open YouTube and check if you are accessing right. If you are able to access YouTube, if the internet of your TV box is really working before trying to access any application, I'll open it here. YouTube internet is connected, right? YouTube is already working. It is a sign that you have already connected to the internet. And now you just use your TV box there. If you have any connection problems there, there is the video on the channel there that I will leave in the description there for you to solve connection problems on the internet. And also, if you bought OTV Box now from CNE, an app, I recommend you Pluto TV, right? That is a free app too and will also be in the description of the video. Then I'll leave it in the video description for you to access and install Pluto TV, right? So that you can watch your content. So that's it guys. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, activate the notification bell, and leave your like there to strengthen the channel. Thanks to the next one, and it was.